Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is kind of a little impromptu video that I am doing right now. It is time to do a clean on Bagel's tank. You can see little Bagel Bite here in his little 20 gallon. He's doing so good. Today is technically day five. It's really early in the morning right now, but we do need to do this tank clean. So I wanted to do this really quickly and film it for you guys. We're basically gonna be draining most of the water out of here because we do need to empty all the meds out and then we're gonna be refilling it back up and we're gonna be leaving the aerator in. So we're gonna be doing this tank clean. I apologize for the lighting in here. It's really early in the morning, so it's still kind of dark out. Since Bagel is responding so well to the Prazi Pro, we are gonna do a second dose to make sure we kill any possible external parasites. And this is the last medicine that he is gonna be given and then he's done and I'm so excited if you guys haven't seen my introduction video where I introduce you guys to little bagel bite my new fish which is butters new friend I will have that link for you in the corner of the screen up above but yeah I'm pretty excited he's doing really really well he's doing really great with this Prazi Pro and yeah so we are going to give him his second dose after we get done cleaning this tank and then we also have to replant his plant. He is so naughty, just like Butter was. He loves tearing at the roots and ripping up his plant. He had another one in here and I had to take it out uh, because he just destroys them, just like Butter did. So I'm gonna have to find a way to weight that down. I already weighted this one down, it's my favorite. Um, but he is really good at tearing the roots up, which I mean, I think that's just a goldfish thing. But yeah, he's doing really good. You guys can see him there. Hi, baby. He's like, I see you. But you guys can see he's not twitching anymore at all. He's actually swimming really smoothly. He is a lot more, look at him eating the roots. So naughty, rotten. But yeah, he's been doing really good. So we're gonna get started cleaning this tank. I am really excited to give him his last dose of medicine so we can be done with this. All right guys, so here we are. You guys can see here, this is Bagel's 20 gallon quarantine tank. Um, you can see the water is definitely receding uh, due to condensation from the air bubbler. So this video is honestly kind of a follow up to my announcement video where I discussed with you guys Bagel's severe twitching and spastic behavior. I've been treating Bagel for possibly flu I'm not sure. Again, I mentioned in her introduction video that I don't have a lot of experience with flukes or what it looks like in a fish. But in Bagel's introduction video, I showed you guys a lot of clips that I actually caught of Bagel just being really spastic, really twitchy, and it was just really alarming me. After being on Canaplex for six days and Metroplex for about 10 to 12 days straight, um, obviously it wasn't internal bacteria or parasites causing the spastic behavior or twitches. But if you guys can see Bagel now, look at how much better Bagel is. It's just, I don't know if it's just me, but it's extremely obvious the insane difference between how Bagel swims and how Bagel behaves now versus how spastic Bagel was um, the very first uh, couple weeks that I, I got him. He just is behaving like a normal goldfish. Like he is swimming the way that Butter swims now. And I don't know if it's just me, but watching those clips like back now versus how he acts now, it's even more noticeable to me, the insane difference. And I honestly wonder if it could have possibly been flukes. I feel like there's a lot of people possibly watching that have a lot more experience with this than I do. Um, but if there was even a chance that he had flukes or any type of an external parasite, whatever it be, I really wanted to make sure that wasn't what was causing his spastic behavior. But seeing it in person, it really is alarming. And I'm just so grateful that he's not doing that anymore. Like he's swimming like normal. He's so good, he's doing so well, and he reacted so great to the Prazi Pro. So that's what brings us to today's video. We are actually going to be dosing him with a second dose of his Prazi Pro. This is the Prazi Pro that I am dosing Bagel with. It is Prazi Quantal, and it's basically just a Prazi Pro external parasite medicine. Regardless of what Bagel has that I may not be 100% sure of, it has definitely helped tremendously. Like, look at him. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna unplug the aerator and we're gonna unplug the filter. And then we are gonna be doing this water change. So I'm just prepping right now and getting ready to do this water change with you guys on camera. I was really nervous to dose this Prazi Pro um, for the first time because I've never used it before. I didn't use it with a butter because she didn't appear to have any external parasites. Everything she had was internal and the Canaplex and Metroplex took care of everything that she had wrong. Um, so I didn't use this, but I will say I am extremely impressed, not sponsored. If your fish possibly has some sort of a parasite and you think that it does and you wanna try Prazi Pro, it is safe for your invertebrates and it is safe for your uh, filter. So if you're worried or anything, 
I have used it and my fish had some issues when I got him and he's doing amazing on it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to dose this today. So this is the siphon I've been using. This is not Butters Python. This is actually just a cheap siphon that I got because I can't cross contaminate any of Butters equipment with bagel, obviously, because bagel's being treated for various things. I'm sorry that I'm kind of dark, but if you guys want to be able to see the tank really well, I can't turn on the ring light or it like bleaches out the tank. So it's just best if I keep it dark. Um, but basically this is the siphon that I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to start draining this water out. So it has been five days since we dosed this Prazzy Pro for the first time. Basically the way the dosing works from my understanding is you dose it once, which is one teaspoon per 20 gallons, which is what I did. This was completely full, obviously, whenever I dosed it. And then after five days, you do a water change. I almost dropped this again. But basically, after five days, you do a water change, and then you can refill it back up, and then you redose it for another five days. So it's only one dose of one teaspoon of this per five days, but it has to be clean water. I'm only going to be doing two treatments of the Prazzy Pro because I think that that's going to knock out anything that Bagel could possibly have, and then Bagel will be done with all of his treatments. I guess I should move my security camera over. The bagel cam. It's actually called butter cam, but butter doesn't need it anymore, so we give it to bagel. I did a complete water change on this about a week and a half ago, and I also did a gravel vac whenever I was getting it ready for bagel to be moved into. So I don't have to gravel back really good. I could probably get away with not doing it at all. Um, but I just want to do it just for good measure. Here is Butterbean. She's been doing amazing and I bet she's ready for her friend. You a beautiful girl, Butterbean. People miss you. Hello. She's been doing absolutely amazing. Her tank is doing great as usual. I'm so excited to get her her new friend. All right, so that is as low as I'm gonna take the water. It's probably, this is probably about an 80% water change, which is good. I didn't wanna empty all of it, but we had to do a big one because it is medicated water and we are redosing it. So I did an 80% water change. I'm gonna go and dump this tote, which is completely full now. All right, so we're not gonna dose the medicine till we have the tank filled back up, but we are gonna go in and pre-dose it with Prime so that the tap water I'm dumping in here is primed and ready to go. We're almost done, bagel bite. All right, guys, so I've almost got it filled back up. I would be filming it, but it takes absolutely forever because I'm using a bucket. I can't use my python because cross-contamination. Have I mentioned how excited I am for quarantine to be over for bagel? Um, so basically, hi baby. So basically, I wanna show you guys how I'm keeping the plants rooted. Obviously, that one went loose, but she tore this one up first, which is uh, one of my tiger lotuses. It's my favorite plant that's in here. I have two of them. But I wanna show you guys how I keep these from being able to be uprooted by him because he's very good about uprooting the plants just like uh, butter is. So this is actually what I've done in Butter's thing too. It was my brother's idea. You take the lid of like a Pringles can and then you cut a slit in it. You guys can see the slit there. You basically just cut a line down and then you basically take the root and stick it in the middle of the, the lid of the Pringle can and then you put it where the lip is facing up and you fill it up with sand and it basically weighs down the root. It's basically a cheap root weight, a cheap root weight. Yeah, I guess that's what you would call it. But basically it weighs down the plant roots. So here is this one. You can see, I turned the brightness of my camera so you can really see what I'm doing. But you basically take the Pringle lid, even though that's not what this video is about. I should do a video just about this, but Basically, you slide the plant into the crevice that you cut into that little slit just like that and you tuck the roots under and then you pile the sand in here. This was literally my brother's idea. I can't claim this, um, but it works really, really well. So we just take those roots. I'm gonna fold them back. Bagel, do not uproot this plant. I just fixed it, okay? There we go. And now they're both good. And now we can go on and finish filling this up and then we have to redose it with the medicine. Okay, so here we are. I just finished filling up the tank. We're gonna turn the filter on. We're gonna turn the aerator on and then we are going to go on and dose one teaspoon of our Prazy Pro medicine for the fishy. And then in five days, we will have to do another water change and then that will be it. We will be done. 
after three days it says the medication does go inactive so technically three days from now the medicine will no longer be working it'll be in the system of the fish on the fish and then it will go inactive so we should be done after three days technically but it does have to stay in the water for five days just make sure that you have an aerator running whenever you're using this all right so now we're going to do one teaspoon of the prazi pro make sure you shake it Drizzle it in the tank, just like that. You can see it, it looks like smoke. It's kind of cool. All right, so now we are done. We are dosed with our second dose of Prezi Pro, and hopefully if he did have flukes, it's completely gone. If he did have any external parasites, they're gone. He's already been treated for internal parasites and internal bacteria. So Bagel Bite is on the mend, and we are seeing no more twitching, thank God. So I definitely think the second dose is gonna be exactly what we needed to finish this treatment off. And I'm not seeing any more spastic movements or flicking or fluttering of the fins or rolling on the sand or anything, no flashing, no twitching. God bless. I'm so happy that that is over and now he's acting like a normal goldfish. All right guys, so it turns out I completely forgot to film an outro for this video. I'm sitting here editing it and we are two days after that final treatment. So the medicine's been in here for two days. And as you can see, Bagel's doing really good with the second and final dosing of the five day treatment for the Prazi Pro. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it was so helpful to you. If your fish is spastic or having any freakouts, keep the water clean. Possibly check for flukes and give Prazi Pro a try if you are worried and you think that that may be what it is. After the first dose of Prazi Pro, I saw an immense amount of success with it and Bagel's doing amazing. The twitching is completely gone and I definitely think it was with Prazi Pro that helped because literally after 24 hours, the twitching was gone and he was doing it every single day. So if your fish is suffering, having severe twitching like I showed you in this video, um, I wouldn't hesitate to give Prazi Pro a try. Obviously, I'm not a professional, but I'm really glad that I did it and it absolutely helped 100% and that's why I decided to dose again. So hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind, bye.